All right, this is going to be a quick dive into chainsaw chain grinding angles I use and it varies depending on what size chainsaw it is. So, get my pointer in the frame there. This is a pretty standard top angle. Now, as a disclaimer, my side, my side plate angle never changes. So on a USG grinder, I use 40 degrees. On an Oregon style grinder, I use 60 degrees. That always stays the same. The thing that changes for me is the height of the raker and the angle, the top plate angle of the chain depending on what size saw it is. And I'll try to explain it as best I can. I am not a teacher so you will have to bear with me. <laughs> so a 25 degree has the least amount of surface area. So it creates the least amount of drag which is why I use this for 40cc and smaller saws. It also gives you the longest life on the chainsaw chain. So by running it at 25 degrees, you get the most grinds or the most filings out of your tooth. So just for example, I will give you an extreme example right here. This is what a 40 degree top angle would look like. So right away you can see you're only going to get about five or six sharpenings out of this and it's going to be gone. <laughs> Whereas this chain, Depending on how many rocks you hit, you will get anywhere from 20 to 30 grinds out of this one. Alright, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, for smaller chainsaws, I run the, the, grind, the raker at 25 thousandths. That never changes also. So next one on the list is the 30 degree top angle. So I run this for 50 and 60 cc saws. It's a little more aggressive, but the little bit bigger saws, they can handle it. They can still run really good with it. The rakers I will still keep at 25 thousandths for these saws. But as soon as I jump to a 65 cc, I will drop the raker to 30 thousandths. And again, the 65 has just, just enough grunt to pull a bit of a bigger chip but I still keep the, the top angle at 30 and it's still a, you still get a good amount of life out of these so this next one you can try at your own risk but I run the 35 degree top angle on my bigger saws anything 70 cc's and up it's more aggressive it's a lot more grabby so it's not for everyone and because it is more grabby it is more prone to kickback so if you're not if you're not comfortable running a bigger saw with an aggressive chain, do not do this. So for my big saws I have 35 degree top angle and the rakers I have at 30 thousandths. So you can imagine every time you go steeper on the angle, for every 5 degrees you make this cutting surface about half a mil longer. So that creates more drag. So you really need more horsepower to run this top angle. So for every, so the difference between this, a 35 and a 25 would be a whole millimeter of cutting length. So that creates a lot more friction. But this does cut faster if you have the horsepower for it. So to sum it all up, this is uh, these are the angles I use. I use these for for hard and soft wood. So if you feel like giving that a try, that'd be great. That, that way you don't just have to take my word for it. <laughs> oh, not supposed to do that. All right, have a good one, humans.